Steelers fans who want Malik Willis are about to be extremely happy because Malik Willis had his pro day dinner with Mike Tomlin after Mike Tomlin drove six hours just to get to his pro day. Now, there's 19 head coaches in front of us, picking ahead of us in this draft, right? So it's no coincidence that he had his pro day dinner with just one in Mike Tomlin. Now, I could be mistaken. There could be other coaches at this dinner or something like that, but that's what the report said. Now, if you look at the reports before free agency, what did it say? It said that the Steelers loved Malik Willis. And of course, if you look at the senior bowl, they were all over it. And I know some people are gonna say, Oh, well, he's never going to make it to 20. That's just ridiculous. I wouldn't be too sure about that because the Steelers have inside information that we don't. And right now, their recent actions are telling us one of two things. Number one, there's no teams really interested in taking him in the top 10 or top 15. And he's probably going to fall to 20 because right now, if you look at it, the only team desperate for a quarterback is the Panthers, and the Panthers just spoke very highly of Kenny Pickett. Of course, some people may say Falcons and Seahawks. Falcons just got Marcus Mariota, and their head coach apparently loves Marcus Mariota, and the Seahawks just traded away their beloved franchise quarterback. So yeah, they're not taking quarterback, they're rebuilding. And just to clarify on that, if they really wanted a franchise quarterback right now and for the next couple of years, they would have never traded Russ. I think that's just common sense. So that leaves the door open for the Steelers. Now, of course, would we have to go up and trade for him? And if we did, would we actually do it? I don't know if we would trade up because honestly, we have a good amount of holes to fill and they're not significant holes, but holes are holes nonetheless. And we need some draft capital to be able to fill a good amount of them. Like we still need a center, corner still needs some depth, strong safety, of course, hopefully we sign Tyron Matthew. So there's a lot of positions to get to. And that's why this is so interesting. And uh, I'm not saying that we should or shouldn't. This is just the situation that we're in. But let me know what you guys think about the whole Malik Willis to the Steelers thing. If you want my opinion, honestly, I've been flip-flopping and I'm just way too indecisive for such a hard decision like this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that's it for me on this one. Peace.